lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, aka Teacup Simmer, and this is another part of our Wolf Quest series. And we are back with Mira and Ryuka. And right now we are in Slow Creek. And currently we are being told that the survival of the pack is paramount. So let's read this and see what we can do in this new section of the game. A wolf life is about a wolf's life is about one thing, passing on its genes to the next generation. All else, from hunting elk to defending a territory, drives toward the single goal. You and your mate survived the hazards of the wilderness long enough to meet each other, form a bond, and survive the winter. Now you can try to realize this goal. With pups of your own, you and your mate will become the breeding pair of your pack. Their survival and the survival of your genetic code will be your responsibility. Even with all the dangers you have faced to reach this point, your real struggle has only just begun. So let's just try to survive, you guys. Okay. So that was a very cryptic message. Not sure what to make of it. So we have to find a den. Spring is breaking in the high valleys of Yellowstone National Park. After a bitter winter, you and your mate know the time has come to start a family. Since other packs have already claimed the slopes of Amethyst Mountain as their home, you have ventured across the Lamar River in search of your own territory. The meadows and hills around Slough Creek look promising. Tucked somewhere into the hills and woods, here is a den site for your pups. An ideal den should be close to food and away from danger, such as rival packs. If you can't find this ideal, you will have to decide whether food or safety is more important to you. All right. What to do? Den icons on the compass indicated potential den sites, as do green areas on the world map. Within each area is a den. Each den has benefits and challenges based on its location. When you approach the den, you can choose it for your permanent den site. Once you choose a den, you can't change it for this game. You can visit all the dens or choose the first one you find. All right. So currently, there are many dens. All right, where are we? We're right here. So there is a hunting ground and a pack a hunting ground a hunting ground and a pack and then there is a hunting ground and a pack over here so most of these are far enough away this is super close to food but it's super close to a, a potential danger this is close to food but it's not that close to danger and then this one's super far away from danger and close-ish to the food so the problem i'm trying to think about because she would not want to deal with any potentially dangerous areas so i feel like she would go over here because the last issue that she had was potentially dangerous um territories so there's stranger territories and then there's also bears and cougars to worry about i feel like mira would not want to be close to any other like any more danger than she'd have to be so i feel like she would go over here towards aspen heights which is directly over that way so let's close the map and let's go this way about the compass explore the wilderness find elk herds and other wolves point you to elk hunting grounds and wolf territories yeah okay awesome so that's the oxbow the point that we're trying to get to is there's one over here there's a den over here so we're going for this den i think i'm pretty sure let's check the map again yeah we're going for that den the one all the way over there unfortunately it's the farthest away from when we actually have to start moving our pups but i feel like the problem is that mira would not want even if she has to travel really far away with her pups, I don't think she'd want to be- she'd want to be as far away from any other potential dangers as possible. So that- okay, so yeah, we're going to the right den. So this is the- the way to the elk herd, and this is the way to the den according to the compass. So we're going to be crossing pretty much the largest amount of space ever to get the pups to safety after they're grown enough to start moving them. Let's sit for a bit. Ryuga is actually a lot faster than us. Let's walk slowly. And let's see. These two actually look, they look so much lighter in the snow. It's actually kind of pretty. 
Aw, look at you. You're all backdropped by snow and prettiness. I don't even think we need to check any of the other sites. I think we this is the perfect one based off of her personality. But unfortunately, it just means that we're going to have some problems um, when it comes to... Ooh, that's a coyote. Get it. We don't need any dangers near our pups. Come on. Where did it go? There we go. Took it out. Elk hunting ground. Okay, so the elk should be near here. Nope, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Um, so where's the map? So we've entered the hunting ground. Can we smell them? There's an, that's the carcass I think we just killed. I don't smell anything. Let's see. They should be close. Because we're in the middle of their territory. Let's get out of scent view and see if we can see them. Let's rest for a second. Because we want to start seeing where all the elk are before we check out the den. They should be around here somewhere. I feel like we need to go in farther then. They may be further up this way. There's birdies. There they are. The elk herd is actually really close to the den. I think the den's right up there. Let's see. Who is the worst off of the tree? You! Get her. Let's run her towards the den. This should make this easier for us. There we go. Get her, Ryuga. Oh, she's glitching a bit. There we go. So now we have some food. We might be able to herd maybe one or two more further in. Just gonna circle. Which one do we want? That one might be our best bet. Ryuga, don't attack things that I'm not attacking. There we go. Let's hurt her that way. No, you're going too far away. Ryuga, stop. He's probably going to get her to stop right next to the other carcass, and that's not going to be what we need. We want her to go this way. Nope. Go the other way. Keep going. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. That'll do, I suppose. She's still way too close to the other guard, so... I'd prefer it if she wasn't this close. Because the other one's right there. Yeah. But we can't do anything about it at the moment. I think we should probably take down one more. Because hopefully these will last to spring. There we go. Let's get her. Okay, so hopefully this will just mean that we'll have a few carcasses lying around 
once we start having pups and we start needing to mark territory and stuff like that so we don't have to go super far. There we go. Bring her down. Awesome. So the den should be here. I don't remember where it is. Where is it? I don't remember. Maybe it's right here. So it's nearby. Is that it? This is it, I think. Yeah. Okay. Let's do keep looking. I want to get a, get a better look at this. Oh, it's tiny. So where's the map? Okay, so this is exactly the den. So I think this one will work. I think this one should be fine. I don't think Mira would want one anywhere over here. We've already killed a couple elks in this area, so we should have enough food to take care of our pups when we actually start to have them. So there shouldn't be any problems with this time. So I think this is the one we're going to choose, you guys. I actually am very excited about this. I'm very excited about this for you, Mira. So let's sit you down next to, next to your potential den. Look at that. This is super cute. <laughs> Sit your butt down. Aww. So hopefully soon she'll have her own pups. Okay, I think this is where we're going to end this part right here, you guys. If you enjoyed the series, please let me know down in the comments. If you guys do have any ideas for what we should call our pack at the moment i don't actually have a name for it yet currently it's just mirrors pack in my head but we could always choose a new name for it that would kind of speak to her personality you guys can let me know down in the comments what do you think a good pack name should be um next time we're probably going to start marking territory and dealing with the feeding of pups once we actually get our territory all established i hope you guys are enjoying the series if you do enjoy it please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Sun rays and on and on. We'll go.